Hey guys, so we've decided to take this side road up over to the Caribbean across Panama. It's a pretty new road and the road ends up in Calo Vébora. Yeah, we went over to Santa Fe. So Santa Fe is a cute little town in the mountains. We spent the night over at a church, just in the parking lot of the church. But we did walk around a little bit and we got some vegetables and had breakfast there. It was a really cute little town. Santa Fe, there's free internet where we were staying, which was really nice. But the road up to Santa Fe was getting pretty wild going winding through the mountains, tons of potholes, dodging, but we've had beautiful views. And we found a waterfall hike that is free. So it has three waterfalls, but we only went to two. We only found two. And it's a really nice swimming hole. We got cooled off there. So it's about a 10 minute walk to the first waterfall. And you can keep wandering the trails to find little pools and explore. It's perfect place to get cooled off. Uh, we were also able to swim alone, which is really nice because sometimes whenever you go to a waterfall, there's tons of people there, but we were perfectly fine finding a spot by ourselves. Alto de Piedra Waterfalls. Free, great swimming hole. So after we left the waterfalls, we came up into the Santa Fe National Park here, and the road has been getting very steep so you have to be careful using the engine brake going downhill to keep your brakes from overheating and beyond that we also didn't know there's no gas station in santa fe <laughs> or the whole way to the caribbean ocean <laughs> yeah so we're driving carefully because of the steepness and also trying not to use too much gas but apparently it's only about 40 more minutes from here to the ocean we're gonna try and spend the night here We'll see after La Jaguala, you know, if somebody comes and tells us we're not allowed, but... But I like this because there's not really that much on iOverlander here, and this is a fairly recent road. The bridge that made it so you didn't have to have a four-wheel drive was just completed, I think, a year or two ago, and pretty much all the information you find about this road says, don't bring an RV because it's so steep, you're gonna ruin it and it just feels good to be out here adventuring kind of on the edge of of what is known for people like us and hopefully we can contribute a spot or two to iOverlander to help the next folks <laughs> yeah and in the meantime we'll enjoy the nice cooler temperatures tonight thanks for the new sticker alejandro and anna We just wake up here and I think oh, I'll let the dog out. She runs right over here to something in particular. I thought, what does she find? There's a crab up here at the mirror door. And this is like a mega crab too. This is a crab out of water. This is, look at this crab. You live out here, buddy. How did you get up here? Did somebody drop you off a second ago? Man, a chica. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we were just gonna wait until it stopped raining to leave. But I looked on iOverlander and it says that this place is just super rainy. So I, I'm not sure it's going to stop raining. So we don't really have that much time left up here because I am t getting a flight soon. I think it's time to go even though it's raining. It might be a little stressful. Hopefully we're not stuck. Yeah, check this out here. You can see over on the side, that is not great. But underneath us, hopefully I parked well. <laughs> it's pretty rocky, but I mean, also the downhill, it's gonna be a crazy ride. Yeah, we're pointed downhill, we have to go back up, but I went up to this pile of rocks, so at least we'll have like initial traction, and below us is hopefully a little dry because we've been parked here all day, <laughs> so let's see what happens. <laughs> pretty common situation for us. Yeah! <laughs> Good job. Good That's job. The, the super muddy part right over there though. Okay, so we're still at like half tank. Wow, yeah, that was a pretty muddy spot. <laughs> <laughs> 
This part here had like a big dip, remember? Yeah. Maybe I can avoid it with our knowledge we have now. Okay, ready for the scary steep road? Yeah, in the pouring rain. <laughs> Let's downshift. Here we go. Wow, but on the road this steep, you really gotta feather the brakes. If you hold down on the brake too long, that's how your brakes start smoking. And the engine brake is essential as well. Kinda wanna make like a van life app game where you had to do that. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds boring. <laughs> Do you think I should make a van life app? Comment. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what feature would give you double the points. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I wonder if this is the S curve that was mentioned on iOverlander. He said, in particular, one S curve will really test your brakes and your cooling system on the way back yeah, up. So here comes an official vehicle. I still have no idea who those guys are. Like, there's so many trucks that just say, use official on it, like I just don't, I don't understand. Wow, yeah, these corners are wild because you don't want to have to slow down that much because of the braking, but then you have to because it's like a sharp corner. This might be the second mirror door. Mm. Wow, it's already looking like so much clearer. Yeah, I think we were in a rainy pocket. And as for the gas trying to keep that from going out, Looks like we're still got a little under half a tank. And this has been mostly downhill, so we're getting really good, ga good gas mileage going this way. Here, looks like I'll be able to add something to the map. It looks like a sweet trail. Let's check out where this goes. I think this trail might be, the ranger told me, he said at the third bridge that there was a nice waterfall you can walk to that um, isn't as large as the Loma Grande that's already on the map but he said it was a nice path to it and a really beautiful waterfall so hopefully that's what we're going to check out right now but who knows just might end up at somebody's house over here <laughs> but I really wanted to try to add something to this not very well explored new side road in Panama oh, so it does look like somebody's house <laughs> well it does look like just a village up here which is still pretty epic, but I don't think I'll intrude. Very nice kind of Palapa style village. Well, that was actually pretty dope. Guy comes out chatting it up with me. Everybody says hi in the fam. On my way out, he says, aren't you afraid of the tiger? Tigre. It's like, what? So yeah, there's a huge tiger that roams around this area. <laughs> He's like, aren't you afraid? Yeah, I guess. And then everybody starts laughing. So I got my tiger spray, so it's all good. And as for the other waterfall, he did say, it's that spot on iOverlander that says swimming hole. So you can hike over there and find a waterfall. There wasn't much parking anywhere by the road, so this one had a little spot to park. And just thought I'd take a look. Emily's over there cooking. <laughs> and then we'll keep going to Calovebra. But what a cool place to live for these people. They were super nice. I just kind of stood up at the edge of the hill without walking into their house, you know. They walked over. I said, hey, sorry, I thought there was a waterfall over here. <laughs> and he said, oh, no problem. You don't have to say sorry. Well, we're just a, a family that lives up here. Kind of interesting to see how it is up here. So we're about to cross the bridge that connects the Caribbean to the main part of Panama. Since February 2020, they've made it so this road is completely paved and they put a bridge in over this crazy raging river that we've already caught a glimpse of. It's the only way to the Caribbean from Colón to Bocas del Toro in Panama. So it's gonna be a really cool little town, it's gonna be super isolated. I'm so thankful they built this bridge. With a van, you're always reliant on the road builders to allow you to go anywhere. <laughs> Even National Forest Roads in the U.S. Wow! Ooh, crossing that with a four-wheel drive would be There's no way crazy. anyone does it in the rainy season, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. The Rio Calebue Borrito. <laughs> Cale Borrito or something. That's a big river! And straight up afterward. 
Well, we can see the ocean now. Yes! Ooh. Almost there. It looks like a huge, like, lake or, like, a marshy area next to the ocean. Yeah, it's coming up. I think this is it. Oh my gosh, is this just the end of the road? Whoa. Does it turn? Whoa. It turns. I think this is pretty much it, though. Yeah, what's, what do we have on IO? End of the road. Yeah, let's see this place. Huh? This is a hostel. Where do you think? Should I pull over here? Or over there? Uh, to the left. Okay. Walk around from here. Mm -hmm. Alright, well we found a campsite here pretty fast, honestly. We're just right next to the only hostel at the end of the road. <laughs> the lady inside is super duper nice. She came up with smiles and you know, we asked, oh, can we park here? We don't need to rent a bed. We have a bed in our car. And she said, so you just want to park and sleep in your car? <laughs> and we said, yes, maybe we'll use the bathroom. And she said, okay, well, yeah, you could use the bathroom if you need a shower. 50 cents for a shower. And zero to stay. Zero to stay. So now Danny and I are going to go take a walk and we'll show you more of this little town. So this is our first look here at the beach of Calovebora. It's definitely not built up at all. This is the most undeveloped beach town I've seen in Central America. There's a shipwreck. What? Let's go check it out. Nobody's coming up to us asking if we want to do a tour, which is like pretty nice. <laughs> but at the same time, we have no clue what to do. <laughs> so this should be the exit of the Calovebora River. There's so many chickens on this beach. Yeah, there's chickens everywhere. And there's that shipwreck. That's actually across the river. Oh, yeah. So basically, everyone we've talked to, Danny's asking, what should we do? What should we do? And a lot of them are saying, go for a nice little walk. Yeah, it seems like some people just come down to the water here to camp and drink oh. beers. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of beers. Yeah. Cool. Maybe that's what we'll do. Beyond the ghost, we stand on the opposite shore. Hello, moon. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know This is how you get the Wi-Fi here, or just on your phone you can do it. Un dollar. ¿Y a quién, a quién le doy el dinero? Oh, usted el encargado? <laughs> this is a, the internet boss here, okay. <laughs> I got a dollar. Oh man, this little kid is running the whole system here. I was like, should I give him my money? But yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's got the key, and he can hook up the Wi-Fi. This seems to be the town center here. Everybody hanging out, drinking beers. I'm the only person with a mask and I'm sweating. So, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Okay, y ahora? Sí. Dang, gracias, chico. Man. Ah, sí, perfecto.
That is pretty much the best walk we could hope for. <laughs> <laughs> that is always the best case scenario where a family sees you and they want to chat and then they invite you to your home and then they <laughs> offer you food and drinks and I mean, yeah, a traveler's dream. I think every traveler would agree. Oh my gosh, I didn't get it on film when uh, the birthday boy asked if he could <laughs> have a little dance with Emily. Um, <laughs> Good thing you didn't get it on film. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. It but, was great. Yeah, yeah, it was he fun. loved it. He was so happy. Everybody was live streaming it, so I'm sure you could find it somewhere. <laughs> and of course, you know, on our way out, we, well, because we thought, well, let's just head out for a little bit. Maybe we'll head back. Of course, some guys at the street were like, hey, here's another beer, you know, yeah. go and have a chat. And we said, we're probably going to come back and bring a bottle of wine for the birthday boy so we can chip in a little bit because. The generosity here has just been amazing, especially when we had no clue what to do. No, barely even finished a beer and they were handing you another one and then handing you a plate of food and... So nice. Wow. And it was pretty funny because the husband, it's his birthday and the wife, but the guys are saying, hey, Danny, now it's your turn to dance with the birthday girl. <laughs> but they were drinking like aguardientes and anise flavored clear liquor and they were drinking it with milk and ice. I've never seen that before in my life. Oh, and the other girl that was sitting by us we were chatting with, she said, uh, I had a bad experience with that, I'm good. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, the food, the time hanging out, the music. Oh, man. We had a great time last night hanging out at the party and you know we feel like we've had a great experience here. The weather is not great enough to do the boat trip that everybody recommends. It's like an hour long boat ride to Isla Escudo but yeah we're gonna just take a walk along the beach here. Explore a little more before maybe heading out but the first step here is we gotta cross this little river. Oh yeah this part's pretty shallow but there's so many little fish. Well, there was the end of the beach, but we found this little path coming up, rather, some Brita found it. So let's see what's up here.